This could be the next Mario Kart, but this is only one scenario of three that we'll be exploring to find out what's next for the series, with each scenario getting progressively cooler, and maybe there's a bonus at the end. The next Mario Kart will probably be called Mario Kart 9. Wrong. It's 8 Deluxe Deluxe. Nintendo counts the phone version of Mario Kart as the ninth entry in the franchise, which makes our new game the 10th one, which is why I'm calling it Mario Kart X, because that's what you're supposed to do. We all have fond memories of going to a friend's house, whipping out Mario Kart, and being absolutely destroyed by a blue shell! What is But nowadays, it feels a bit different, right? We've had Mario Kart 8 for so long that things are starting to feel a bit stale. And I reckon this is gonna be the first thing that Nintendo fixes, starting with the item balance. What made Mario Kart so fun was that you could be the best player in the world and get hit by a blue shell and a red shell and a bomb and another red shell and lose the game. It makes it so that it's really up in the air as to who's gonna win. Compare that to A Deluxe, where you've lost before the game's even started if you're against someone from Japan. I swear they must be hacking. Mario Kart 8 added a few cool items, like the Crazy 8 and the Super Horn, but they also added the coin. So actually I'm not going to use you for ideas. Go away. Let's imagine they add the Super Bell and the Double Cherry, which are most likely. The Super Bell could act like the Tanuki Leaf did in Mario Kart 7. By giving the actual car the power-up, it would allow the player to scratch people near them and deflect items. But what's more interesting is that when you get it, the bell could ring, causing enemies to spin out, and it could deflect things like shells as well. And as you come to land after flying, you could use the pounce move to attack nearby enemies. The Double Cherry allows you to create multiple copies of yourself, which could be used to make decoys in Mario Kart X to protect you, and also get in the way of enemies. 8 Deluxe actually added a new item, being the ghost power-up, but they also added this. Which brings me to my next point. I want to remove double items. Sort of. It's too easy. Instead, you should only really be able to pick up one item, let's say a shell, and when you hold it behind you, it empties your item slot and lets you pick something else up. This adds a bit of skill that's required, and previous games actually already used this, but there's something more important that's currently missing from the game. Most new Mario Karts come with a new twist. Bikes, Water and Sky, 64, Anti-Grav. What could they possibly do next? Battle Royale. No, but seriously, they've kind of already shown us in the booster course pass. You see, in order to bring the phone tracks to 8 Deluxe, they had to squish multiple tracks into one race, because Mario Kart Tour had different versions of the same courses, like London Loop 1, 2 and 3. They did this by having the map change after each lap, which introduces one key thing that redefines what a new Mario Kart game could have. Let's take the concept of changing tracks and build upon it. It doesn't have to be limited to the layout. We could add changing weather, time, or even the entire environment after each lap. A lightning storm could start after lap one, or a meteor shower could occur on Rainbow Road that players have to avoid. But this could go even further. It doesn't have to stick to the same thing each time. Each track could have multiple events, which randomly happen each time you play. And there could even be power-ups which cause track-altering events. I'm just saying. Let's add a tactical nuke that turns New York into a nuclear wasteland. Maybe not. There's something missing. Something every game has been missing since the DS. Mission Mode. Mission Mode was added in Mario Kart DS for those times you were playing past your bedtime. Bye bye Shut up! At the moment, if you want to play with no friends, there are only two fun options, playing online with randoms or doing time trials. Reintroducing mission mode would be great for a new game, thanks to a few key features. On the DS, you can complete missions such as destroying item boxes, driving backwards, or driving through gates. But where it really gets interesting is with bosses. You could fight bosses like King bob -omb while driving around. Not only that, but there were custom arenas as well. Let's imagine the next Mario Kart has this, but better. We'll give it custom levels, rather than just doing missions on regular tracks. And let's also make those boss battles more interesting by adding ramps so you can attack from above, which adds some verticality to the game. And we could also take advantage of new features like the paraglider to also have flying missions and more. If this were to return, then chances are it would have a completely new look. I'm talking unique levels, a story, and even special unlockables. This next part is purely what I want to happen. Remove coins, oh my god, please just get them out, please. They should not be an item. Keep them on the courses, sure, but they also shouldn't be the only way to unlock things. You should be able to unlock car parts by getting certain achievements, like coming first a certain amount of times, or reaching milestones with these useless point things. I think these ideas are pretty realistic, but it's not like it's up to me. It's not like Nintendo's letting me make the Mario Kart tracks. Hang on. This reality is more up in the air. 
but is way cooler than Mario Kart X. Mario turned 30 in 2015, and to celebrate, Nintendo released a game called Super Mario Maker, allowing you to create whatever levels you desire, and celebrating previous art styles like Super Mario World and Super Mario Bros 3. A bit of a conspiracy theory? I reckon this game just happened to be ready for Mario's anniversary, so they made it part of the celebration. For Mario Kart's 30th anniversary, just imagine what they did. New tracks, merch, and maybe a new game? A single tweet. A single tweet saying to play the first game. So, let's say they release a Mario Kart Maker, and actually decide to celebrate the next anniversary. This could follow the footsteps of Mario Maker, but it would have to overcome some issues, the main one being that it ain't easy making a Mario Kart. The reason the original Mario Maker worked well was because you could design simple 2D levels. Throw some enemies here, chuck a floor down there, and boom, you're done. With Mario Kart, it's much harder for some kid to design a 3D track. What they need is a way to make it simple, an interface that is fun and intuitive without being too limiting, which is why I proposed the 2D 3D Maker. It's simple, draw out your road in 2D and add 3D elements later. Things like ramps, anti-grav sections and underwater parts could be added in fixed places. This game could also have multiple styles. Imagine being able to play games in the style of Mario Kart 64, or have a pixel version like on the SNES, or that weird hazy look on the Wii. Each style could use their own items from their respective games, and the same for their vehicles. But now it's time for Mario Kart Maker to become better than Mario Maker with online mode. It would be so cool to share the tracks that you create with friends and then play them together online. Furthermore, you could play online with randoms and vote on each other's tracks to play, like in Mario Kart 8. There's so much possibility with a Mario Kart maker. You could even create your own kart designs. We made this one. Thank you, thank you. And we also made these, link in description. The problem with this scenario is that it lacks any sort of rumors to back it up, like at all. So let's use what the leaks are saying. There have been a few rumours to suggest that the next Mario Kart may take some ideas from Smash Bros, having all the characters from Nintendo and a new tackle system. These ideas are super vague, what a surprise. But they're easy to extrapolate, since we may have already seen them. Let's say this game is completely different from Mario Kart, a Nintendo Kart, if you will. This tackle system could work with a last man standing type of objective, rather than reaching the finish line. This would allow for infinite track designs, which could randomly generate to keep things interesting. But Nintendo's actually shown us this already. Not in a game, not in a direct even, but in the Mario movie. In the scene where Mario and friends battle against Bowser and his minions, they never race. Instead, they fight on Rainbow Road using character-specific weapons such as Donkey Kong's barrels, missiles, and a blue shell. But the way they used this blue shell was weird. What if they're using another idea from Smash Bros? The final smash. This could be used after you've filled up a meter by tackling players, or if you take too much damage, allowing you to use a unique item that's totally overpowered. Koopa gets a blue shell, Mario gets a huge fire blast, Samus uses a charge beam, and Luigi sucks. Enemies. A Nintendo Kart would allow for crazy new tracks from other franchises, like Metroid, Pikmin, and... uh... never mind. And don't even get me started on the DLC characters. So that's good and all, but these are just claims made by people. There's been no official tease for anything. MK10 soon? So there we have it. Three different possibilities, each of which having their own cool features. And chances are, one of them's gonna happen. Mario Kart Horizon. L like, Forza Horizon? It doesn't really have the same ring to it. And by the way, there's a hidden Luigi in Scenario 2. First one to find it gets a comment pinned. Thanks for watching, and click here to find out what's next for 3D Mario games.